Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we are going to take a look at what's coming up for you in terms of love and romance. This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just be mindful of that. There's also going to be a part two to this reading. And in part two, we'll continue on from the messages here. And we're going to explore maybe the messages in a little bit more detail. So part two is going to be made available via the extension link below. For those of you interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below that section, the, below the video where that section is there. Guys, it looks like relationships and romantic connections are likely to see a lot of progress over the next few weeks, perhaps even months throughout the year as well. Um, some of you could be perhaps thinking or some of you could be taking your relationship to the next level. Okay, but I think before you do that, you might you might have faced some delays earlier in the year, you know, in terms of settling down a relationship or in terms of settling down a connection here. Don't be disheartened if you have experienced some setbacks, some delays, or even if these were internal, for example, you know, a lot of confusion or uncertainty, whether this is what you want right now, whether this person is a good fit. It feels like some of you are going to be taking a calculated risks. You'll be taking calculated risks here. And in doing so, I think that calculated risk is really going to determine whether you yourself are truly ready for the next level and whether your person here is ready for the next level. Okay, whether it means the next level of the relationship, whether it means the next level of, you know, um, your life, the next phase here. For those of you that are single here and you're just dating, it feels like you're going to have a lot of memorable moments this year. You're going to be forming a lot of um, wonderful new connections. And that's also going to, there's going to be a lot of growth in your personal life, especially with relationships. There is going, there's a connection in particular that some of you, you might already have with someone and you feel very proud of the dynamics of this relationship and of the chemistry that you share. And if you don't find yourself feeling that type of way just yet, uh, how the relationship progresses over the next couple of weeks or months will, make, will ensure that you get to feel this way. You need to be patient with someone or be patient with yourself as well. You need to give someone or yourself some space and try not to impose your decision. So for example, if you are ready to take something to the next level, if you're ready you know, to um, elevate the status of this relationship, if you're ready to move into, you know, move in together or move to a new location, whatever it is, try not to impose your decision because your person, if your person reciprocates, they are on the same page, on the same wavelength. You guys are on the same vibrational frequency. However, let your person make their own decisions and choices, okay? And if they don't match up, try and be supportive in those choices and decisions and you might have to reach a compromise of some sort. The next few months are definitely going to be filled with a lot of romance, a lot of um, adoration of each other. Oh, you can't see, it's a bit dark. Some of you, I feel like... If you are single, I see you coming across the perfect match, okay? And this is going to be the person that you're going to share very strong chemistry with. And this is someone that you're going to be settling down with. It's, And for a lot of you, there's a lot of excitement here because you're finally in love. You know, you finally get to feel what it's like in love. And it's like you being in love with the right person at the right time as well. The foundation that you're currently building something is seems very strong and the foundation. So 
whether it's a relationship, a connection that you're building, whether it's a career that you're working on, whatever foundation like you're laying out for yourself right now, it seems this is how, so make sure that foundation is healthy. Okay, make sure it is strong. And if not, you might have to rework some things because essentially this is how, you know, what shape that relationship or that future is going to take. So watch for that. There's also a possibility, I see for some of you, there's a possibility of either upsetting yourself or a romantic connection or a connecting energy. And the reason I say this for you, because I think it comes, don't try to, it comes from a place where I think maybe you're trying to appease someone or it, it just feels like you're not necessarily speaking a truth um, and you're just agreeing with what someone wants here or agreeing with someone else's decisions when they're not necessarily reflective of yours. So don't, and I think it's something that you might have done in the past as well. So try not to repeat your mistakes from the past and try to, I mean, there's something here that I feel like it's a truth that you, you're not speaking because you're wanting to avoid getting into, you know, all sorts of fights, uh, sorry, fights or confrontations. You're trying to dodge these. But yeah, okay, you might say something um, that you don't necessarily mean and it's going to appease your person um, or this connecting energy. But at the end of the day, it's not going to appease you because that conflict, okay, you're, you're not saying what you mean. You're only saying what they want to hear. And yeah, okay, you may dodge the confrontation with them, but you're not dodging the confrontation within yourself. So be careful, okay? Talk the issue out, whether it's, you know, with love or with a business partner, whoever this is, or whether it's within yourself. Keep the communication transparent. Keep it honest. Say what you mean. Mean what you say. You're likely to see a lot of progress, a lot of growth and a lot of progress, especially with relationships. Expect to be taken, expect to be taking things to a new level. I do, I do see some sort of delays though. I do see some sort of delays or setbacks that you're going to be experiencing. But according to what the cards are telling us, they are essentially going to facilitate a lot of growth and renewal in your journey and in your energy. Um, there's going to be a lot of romance, a lot of a lot of strengthening of relationships here there may be some problems which start creeping up for you try and stay calm and I think those problems will come only from a result of a lack of communication or the fact that someone isn't speaking the truth I do see for a lot of you for those of you that are single uh, you're coming across your ideal match it feels like it's this year and this is someone whom you're going to be you know, I see like a settling of a relationship happening. And for those of you that are in a relationship and you're connected uh, to one another, you're planning to take things to a new level, whether it's planning to raise a family, especially for those that are uh, married, whether it's getting engaged, getting married, um, whether it's moving in together, buying a home together. It's all about elevating things to the next level. It's, there's definitely, it's going, I see there's going to be an increase in energies. Increase in energies and partnerships. Some of you may even fall in love with someone who started out as a friend. And then you may fall into a loving relationship with this person after having spent a lot of time together. There are also plenty of opportunities that wait for you. It feels like it's maybe abroad. So for those of you that have been planning to travel, um, whether you've been planning to live abroad, do some traveling, um, whether it's the study or you've just been wanting to get away. Um, think really long and hard about making such a commitment because I feel like some things here can't be, not that they can't be undone, but you really need to be sure because for a lot of you, there are opportunities that lie elsewhere. So they're not as close to home as you would like them to be. These opportunities could be opportunities for love, relationships, for romance. It could be career opportunities, financial opportunities, but they could also be spiritual and growth opportunities. But I see a lot of new prospects as well. And a lot of romantic gestures that 
are going to come very unexpected for you. Um, there is some sort of trouble or conflict in the relation in relationships, and for those of you single or even coupled up or married, uh, you're going to come across. But as I've mentioned, I do feel like they're going to come from communication, okay, or a lack of. So you're going to have to show support and understanding. You're also going to, there's a lot of energy that is going to be drawn from you, like both emotionally and mentally. And um, we'll follow on from these messages in part two of the reading. So follow me via the extension link below to part two. For those of you interested in a personalized reading, please feel free to inquire. Otherwise, thank you guys so much. Please show your support by um, liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.